Brother versus brother, blood versus blood, beast versus beast. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy S8 versus the Galaxy S8 Plus. So I'm just gonna quickly boot up both phones at the same time. Three, two, one, go. And uh, let's see, okay. Both showed the sign and the vibration at the same time. The logo is also syncing up pretty equal. Okay, and the S8 Plus wins. Okay, that was that was about two second delay on the Galaxy S8. Wow. So yeah, the bigger one wins. So same Wi-Fi network on both devices, and we got everything closed up in the background. And uh, these two phones are the Exynos variant of the S8 family. Let's begin with the basic stuff. We got phone dialer here on both devices. Three, two, one, go. And uh, I think it was about the same on both devices. Again, you guys, the judge here going back. Uh, we're going to launch another system based application that is the settings. Yes, it is very similar, no difference there at all. Going back to the app drawer, and we're going to launch some third party applications. So, first off, we have the Subway Surfers. And uh, let's see if there is any difference. So, okay, the that is, that is, that is absolutely similar, no difference there at all. Uh, I thought that maybe the full screen or the full stretch of application might create a difference, but it doesn't create any difference. Next we got Snapchat, and that is also very much similar on both of these two phones. Checking out Instagram, and uh, the S8 Plus, really fast with the latest feed followed by the Galaxy S8. Let's uh, load up my profile. And again, faster on the S8 Plus. Load up this picture, about the same on both phones. Checking out Viber, very similar on both devices, no difference. Moving on to a game called as Smash Hit. And, uh, okay, let's see. Again, very similar on both phones, no difference there whatsoever. We got another game called as Gunfu Stickman. Boom! And that is also very much similar on both devices. Checking out WhatsApp. No difference, no difference. We got Twitter. Okay. Twitter. And I think that was a tiny bit quicker on the S8 Plus. Yeah, I have to say, I mean, they are very much similar. Can't really say that which one has the upper hand. Although, Benchmark do tell us that the S8 Plus is a bit more powerful, uh, you know, as far as the numbers are concerned, but the real life is absolutely similar. So, uh, we're going to be launching Color Switch on both devices here. Three, two, one, go. And again, no difference whatsoever. So lastly, we'll be launching up the camera on both devices. There we go. And that is also about the same on both phones. Time for some browsing action. So we got uh, the Google Chrome browser loaded up on both devices. First website will be wikipedia.org. And uh, let's see here. Galaxy S8 Plus is done, followed by the Galaxy S8. So, uh, yeah, a bit faster uh, website load on the S8 Plus. Very similar again, uh, scrolling and everything, you know, no difference, no lag whatsoever. Same thing with zooming in and out. Next, we got Apple.com on both of these two phones. And uh, as you can see, the S8 Plus is already on the website, showing you all kinds of thumbnails. And both are at the end. Okay, the S8 is, okay, uh, that was that was really close. Again, you guys, the judge here, it's really hard to tell which one was the uh, winner. Maybe the S8 Plus was the winner, uh, but uh, we're gonna go back and uh, check out the RAM management and see if there's any refresh, if there's any funny thing going around or not. So phone dialer kept there in the memory by both phones, no refresh. We got settings, still there, no refresh. Going back, checking out Subway Surfer. As you can see, it's still there. But devices, Let's see, Snapchat, alrighty, no refresh, uh, Instagram, that is also there, okay, checking out Viber, okay, that is also there, 
smash hit no closing whatsoever going back let's see let's see gun fu stick man that is awesome whatsapp twitter color switch and it is still there in the memory so so no refresh at all the app loading was very similar the game loading was very similar the browsing was also pretty close the asset plus was actually performing a bit better on my wi-fi connection again it depends on a lot of factors there so uh, but yeah, I mean, the performance is very much similar. You're not going to get better performance on the bigger version, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, boot up wise, the SA Plus was a tiny bit quicker, like two or three seconds quicker, even though if you say that I didn't press the power button at the same time, but the, but the difference was about two or three seconds. So uh, I think I pressed them at about the same time. And uh, even if I didn't, so the, the SA Play is still a faster phone because of the delay we had on the SA. But, but yeah, I mean, really, it, that isn't a, a big issue, like a two second boot up difference. Uh, the application, the gaming load time, all this stuff was very much similar. So uh, thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the beast versus the beast here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.